Good day YouTube. This is just a quick video to show you a bit of a, a RAM comparison video between Windows 7 and Windows 10. Now I always compare uh, Windows to uh, Linux, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, that sort of thing. Never done a direct comparison between Windows to Windows, which isn't isn't really a, a niche market for my video channel here. But why not? Why the hell not? So getting into it now, I've uh, booted up these from scratch. There's nothing really installed. Oh, sorry, set up or uh, open. It's just uh, a boot up from scratch there, which means let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. So all the updates have been applied thus far, and we have oh Windows yeah installed new updates yep as we know. And this is really what we're working with here. So on the left, Windows 7, about 800 megabytes uh, of RAM straight off the bat on boot up. It's actually, uh, it, it is obviously spiking there a little bit there as well for the, the CPU. Something is, uh, as always with Windows, something is happening there in the background. Let's see if we can remove that. But uh, moving across uh, to the Windows 10, so here we go. And as you can also see, uh, strangely enough, just at uh, slightly more RAM straight off the bat, so uh, nearly a gigabyte, 900 uh, uh, megabytes of RAM, so that's nice to see there as well. Not too much of a difference, so not completely resource heavy as say Windows 8, 8.1, and you know, so on, that sort of thing there. But um, uh, as we can see here, yeah, it was steadily sitting at a bit of a lower rate there, about 800 megabytes, but it has moved up Windows 7. So it is a bit of shame that these background processes just uh, just do not quit on Windows. A little bit different to Linux, probably one of the many reasons why I do enjoy it, I do like it. But uh, yeah, we are really pinging out at 100% here on this one right now. But it was pretty steady and uh, less used and a bit more consistent there previous to now. But that just gives you a bit of a feel. They are fairly similar. Um, if you can update to Windows 10, I might perhaps recommend it. But if before you do any updates, you'd always do a backup of your data. So cheers, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, and all of those nice things. And yeah, thanks again. Ciao.